Hey! Today I'll show you how to create a rental marketplace for any niche with WordPress. A rental marketplace is a peer-to-peer -peer platform where individuals or companies can rent different types of goods from one another. At the same time, a website owner can monetize the platform by charging a commission fee on every transaction made through the website. In this tutorial I'm gonna use WordPress, the most popular website building platform and HivePress, a free plugin for building any type of directory and listing websites along with its bookings extension. I'll also use the Listing Hive theme since it's a free, multi-purpose theme that has all the required features for building a rental marketplace and it's fully compatible with the HivePress plugin. You can follow the link in the description to learn more about HivePress and its themes, download the Listing Hive theme or ask developers any pre-purchase questions. Ok, so let's start with the theme installation and navigate to the WordPress dashboard first. Since Listing Hive is a free theme, you can install it directly from the WordPress dashboard by going to the Appearance themes page and then clicking Add New. Next, find it via the search bar and proceed by installing it. Finally, click on the Activate button. Once you activate the theme, you'll get a suggestion to install the HivePress plugin. Simply follow the link and then start the installation. Now click on the return link and proceed by activating HivePress. Now it's necessary to install the bookings extension. To do that, go to the plugins add new section and click on the upload plugin button. Then select the extension zip file to upload and proceed by installing and activating it. The next step is to split your marketplace into categories to make it easier for users to navigate your website. For example, let's add equipment, clothes and instruments categories. You can add new categories in the listings categories section. Here you can enter the category name. Let it be Equipment. Here you can turn it into a subcategory by setting a parent category for it. It may be a useful option if, for example, you want to create several specific subcategories in the Equipment category depending on the type of tools. Then fill in the description if necessary and here you can upload the category image. When finished, click on the Add Category button. In the same way, you can add as many categories as you need for your marketplace. Alright, now you can start setting up your rental marketplace. Since each website is unique, it may require different listing details depending on the site niche and requirements. In the case at hand, we are building a common rental marketplace. So let's add a custom field that is necessary for rental listings of any niche. You can add custom fields in the listings attributes section. Click on the Add New button. For example, let's add a price attribute to allow users to set the price when they list some goods on your website. Enter the attribute name, allow its front-end editing and select the field type. It's better to choose the number type. Then mark it as filterable, sortable and select the search field type. We recommend setting the number range field type to allow customers to search for products by price range instead of some specific price. Finally, define the display format for your custom field and click on the Publish button. In the same way, you can add more custom fields and search filters, depending on your marketplace niche and requirements. Now, let's move on and try to add a new rental listing. For example, let's add the first listing to the Equipment category and do it from the front end to check how it's gonna work for users. To do this, go to your website, click on the Add Listing button and select the Equipment category. Here you can upload the listing image, enter the listing title, set the daily price and describe your listing. Also, you can customize the booking settings. Here you can see a few fields related to the booking restrictions. 
For example, you can set how many days are required prior to the rent date, then specify the booking window that defines how many days in advance customers are able to rent. Also, you can set the minimum and the maximum rental duration to avoid single day or long term rental periods. Finally, you can enable the booking request option to accept each rental request manually. When you complete the listing form, click on the Submit Listing button. Now, let's sign out and register a new account in order to check the whole workflow of renting goods as a regular user. Simply log out of the admin account and click on the Sign In button. Then click on the Register button, fill in the required fields and finish the registration. Once you are done with the registration, go to the Equipment category and locate our previously added listing. Now, let's try to rent it. As you can see, we cannot rent this equipment for more than 7 days and we cannot rent it earlier than 2 days from today. So, for example, let's rent this equipment for 5 days. When you pick the dates, click on the Request to Book button. As you can see, there is a redirect to the confirmation page, where users can verify all the details before sending a request, as well as add some notes. Keep in mind that as a website owner you can customize the confirmation page and add different custom fields if necessary. After you check all the details, click on the Send Request button. Once you rent some goods, you can manage the rental request in the My Account Booking section. Now, let's switch back to the admin account and accept the rental request. Navigate to the My Account Booking section and you'll see a pending request for rent. Let's accept this one by clicking on the Accept button. Also, there is a calendar feature that allows you to block or unblock specific dates to make them available or unavailable for new rental requests. Moreover, the calendar shows the whole picture of the months like upcoming rental dates, available and unavailable dates, and so on. That's all for today. Once the rental request is accepted, customers receive a confirmation via email. If there are some changes or issues, both parties can easily communicate with each other via messages. Also, customers can leave a review about rented goods or add them to the list of favorite listings to easily find them the next time they need to rent them. So, if you want to create a rental marketplace for any niche using WordPress, keep in mind that you can easily build it with the HivePress plugin and its bookings extension. They are both lightweight, easy to use and crazy customizable. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can follow the link in the description to learn more about HivePress, its themes and extensions. Have a great day!